and welcome to Simon's Product Showcase. Today, we'll cover a PLC HMI combo unit, the X-Panel Hybrid. We'll review anatomy, features, how to expand the item, and potential IO expansion modules you can use with this product. This is the X-Panel Hybrid. This unit has an embedded hard PLC, which is Simon's PLCS. On the bottom, we have a power terminal. Additionally, there are two serial ports, RS-232 and RS-485, and an Ethernet port for the PLCS portion. These ports allow for programming or communication with field devices. The bottom and the top of the unit have cavities for fastener placement, and this product comes with four fasteners. This is how you securely mount the unit to a panel. When facing the unit, on the right hand side there is an audio jack and an SD card slot for the HMI portion of this unit. Users can upload or download a project to or from the HMI with an SD card. On the opposite side, there is a run stop switch and embedded digital inputs and digital outputs for the PLC. The digital inputs are universal for 24 BDC while the digital outputs can be sync, source, or relay. Also, there is a USB Mini B tool port for the PLC and HMI shared for programming. The HMI component has a USB Type A, Ethernet, and 9 pin serial port. Programs can be updated or retrieved via the USB Type A port, or historical information can be extracted. Programming and communication with field devices can be done through the Ethernet port. The serial port is both RS-232 and RS-485. The back side of the unit is VESA wall mount compatible. Additionally, there are diagnostic LEDs for the embedded digital inputs, digital outputs, and the PLCS serial channels. Also, this is where we're going to be expanding in the unit for I.O. modules. Notable features of this unit include two high-speed counting channels, two channels of pulse train output, otherwise known as high-speed output for a stepping motor, PID 32 loops with auto-tuning, it can expand up to 94 I.O., VNC for remote interactions, and historian features such as data logging, trending, and alarms. This unit has over 100 native communication drivers, allowing out-of-the-box interfacing with Ethernet IP, S7, Modbus, and many other field devices. Now let's demonstrate how to expand the unit with the hybrid expansion card that's in front of me. Remember, once the user has expanded the unit with the hybrid expansion module, up to two PLCS I.O. modules may be added. There is a screw that comes in the hybrid expansion module box, which is used to securely fasten the module in place. There are three types of hybrid expansion modules. Let's discuss the analog I.O. module first. The analog I.O. module has two channels of current input and voltage input and two current or voltage outputs, standard ranges of 0 to 20 milliamps and negative 10 to positive 10 volts. Next up is the digital I.O. card. It has eight transistor 24 VDC inputs and six relay outputs which can handle up to 240 VAC. Lastly, we have a dummy card that I've already attached and this can be used if the user does not want analog or digital I.O., but needs to expand for extra communication or temperature cards, or simply the user just wants a, a dust cover for their expansion port. We can expand with PLCS modules once the hybrid expansion module is locked in place. So I'll undo the clips here and lock it in. With options such as digital I.O., high-speed counting, PWM, analog I.O., and communication cards for adding serial or Ethernet channels, the possibilities are truly endless. We appreciate you dropping by. Stay tuned to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.